a wonderful experience. Something new and fresh. People being invigorated and encouraged to do some things differently. Some people coming forth and participating in our services in a great way. How good it is to be creative and innovative. Yeah. Amen, amen. There's a word I like to lift up on this day. I'll make it sort of sermonettish because of the holiday. And y'all are rare to get back to your day. But I want to make mention of what's recorded in Luke, the second chapter, verses 25 through 30. Luke, the second chapter verses 25 through 30. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was just and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And inspired by the Spirit, he came to the temple And when the parents brought in the child, Jesus, to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thy servant depart in peace. According to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Simeon, you say you saw him, so I believe it. Simeon, you say you saw him. So I believe it. This message is entitled that particular phrase because none of us were around 2023-ish years ago to be able to see Jesus born in Bethlehem. None of us were around to behold the babe born in a manger. None of us were around to see it, yet we have an eyewitness report from one who believed that it would be. Of all the people who looked forward for the coming of Christ, Simeon was the epitome of such a person. He was a devout Jew always uh, treated people well, and he believed uh, without seeing. Sometimes, you know, people believe once they see it. But Simeon believed it without seeing it. He knew that it was supposed to happen because he was familiar with the prophetic books. Yet one day the Holy Spirit revealed something special to him. You will not see death until you behold the Christ. And he waited a while and waited with tiptoed anticipation, but he knew that he would see Christ because the Holy Spirit revealed that special revelation to him. And I would want to go on and say that even during this particular holiday season, the Spirit of the Lord can reveal some things to us before we see them come into reality. I believe uh, first, and I know that I'll see it later, Simeon saw it 
and he reported it to us. I wasn't around to see it, but because uh, the Lord has a way of making things come to pass. When the Lord says something will happen, though it doesn't happen immediately, it shall come to pass. So after many things, many days, many days of waiting, finally, finally, it came to pass. And Simeon went to the temple, and he was going to worship on that particular day. You know, the folk were coming in uh, and registering Jesus because that was what they were supposed to do, register new folk to, you know, the temple. And uh, while they came in, Simeon sort of looked around and he saw a couple walking in. And something about the couple just resonated in his mind. He knew something was special with them, but he didn't know what. And he noticed that they had a baby in their arms. And he remembered the promise that you will not see death until you see the Lord's Christ. So he went over and uh, I believe uh, he just sort of tapped Mary on the shoulder and said, do you mind if I hold the child? And then when he held the child, he looked at him and something happened within because there was something special. There was something special emanating from this child. And, and Simeon remembered what the Holy Spirit told him and he could feel it when he touched him. And then he said, you know what? I'm all right now. I see it. Uh, The Lord has fulfilled his word. Now I can depart in peace because mine eyes have beheld the Christ. Oh, I'm going on to my seat, you know, but, you know, that's why I say, Simeon, uh, you believe first. And you are an example of me believing something good can happen. Simeon, you believed it first. And uh, faith brought it along after you believe. Oh, I say today, believe something. Believe it first, and it will show up. Believe that you'll get better from a bad situation. It will show up. Believe that things will get better as you tiptoe towards a brand new year. It will show up. Believe it first, and then it shall be. Simeon said, I can can go now in peace because mine eyes have seen the Christ. And as we get ready to leave the month of December, as we get ready to leave the year 2022, as we get ready to move on past and get through the last week of 2022, might as well leave, uh, but leave knowing uh, that you will see the hand of the Lord work in your life. I can't see how it is that it works for you, but I know that it will. Believe it first and see it later. Simeon said he saw him. What have you seen? Have you seen a miracle? Have you seen his salvation? Have you seen the answer to your prayer? Have you seen things changing around? I do believe that if you believe it first, the Lord will let you see it later. God's blessing be upon you. The door of the church is open. I know we don't have any visitors today, but sometimes we have people who come to church on a regular basis, but they never really seriously joined officially. So we invite you today to come and unite with this, the Greenview First Baptist Church, if that is your desire, on this Christmas Day 2022. The invitation is extended to you. Heavenly Father, we rejoice over the fact that you allowed your only begotten Son to enter into our humanity, walk in our experience for some 33 years. Lord, we ask your blessings be upon us as we remember his entrance. Let it be that it makes a difference for us even now. Let it be that we're able to believe some things concerning your promises. 
believe some things concerning what you have revealed unto us. And like Simeon, we look with tiptoed anticipation, knowing that when the time is right, those things shall come to pass. We shall forever rejoice. Cause us, Lord, to be able to deal with our different emotions. Sometimes we're up on this day. Sometimes we're challenged. Certain hours we're all right. The next 30 minutes we might not be. But Lord, we just ask that you cause us to focus on the fact that you loved us so. And you gave us a right to the tree of life by sending your son into the world to die for us that he can redeem us and give us new hope, new life, new joy. Therefore, we rejoice. Be with us in a mighty way, we pray. We ask it all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. And now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth now and forevermore. Amen Amen. and amen. Amen. Merry Christmas to you. Mele Kaliki Maka. All right, all right.